Good day everyone. I am Mrs. Nerisa Arbetonio from Alfonso National High School. Today, I am going to present to you my study which is entitled Instructional Strategies and Academic Performance of TLE Students, a Basis for Intervention in Improving Instruction of TLE Teachers. What is the rationale of this study? In today's K-12 curriculum, TLE has been given added focus on the education process, particularly technical vocational track. TLE teaches students how to do livelihood program or how to use the modern technology. In this, students can improve their skills and they can know where they are good at. Therefore, the teacher being the focal figure in education must be competent and knowledgeable in order to impart the knowledge they could give to their students. The teacher needs to possess adequate knowledge of the objectives and standards of the curriculum, skills in teaching, interest, application, and ideals. Effective learning in the classroom depends on the teacher's ability to maintain the interest that brought students to the course in the first place. Hence, this is study. This research aims to answer the following research question. First, which of the following instructional strategies are being practiced by participants? Lecture discussion, demonstration, problem solving, project method, inquiry approach, cooperative learning, or use of audiovisual media. Second, what is the level of academic performance of the early students? Third, is there significant differences between instructional strategies being practiced and instructional strategies as perceived by the students? And the last one, is there significant relationship between the instructional strategies practiced by the teachers and academic performance of the students? This study was limited to the instructional strategies employed and academic performance of the students in TLE on the first quarter of the school year 2019-2020. For the methodology, the researcher used the proportionate stratified sampling. For the data collection, the researcher identified the proponents of the study, namely grade 8 students and TLE teachers of Alfonso National High School. The identified proponents were asked to answer the survey questionnaire. The responses were gathered, consolidated, computed, analyzed, and was interpreted. For the ethical issues, the conduct of the study was carefully planned to avoid misunderstanding between the proponent and the respondents. The proponent's answer in the questionnaire was kept confidential. For plan for data analysis, the descriptive type of research was used by the researcher and a standardized questionnaire adopted from COSTA was used. For statistical analysis, frequency count, percentage, mean, standard deviation, and z-test were, were utilized. For the discussion of results and recommendation, the following were found out. For research question number one, the computed mean is 3.83, which was verbally interpreted as often. The result connotes that the instructional strategies practiced by the teacher are often used as perceived by the students. The result also shows that the teacher utilized varied instructional strategies which is acceptable to the learners, hence addressing the needs of the diverse learner. For research question number two, the computed mean is 86.67, which was verbally interpreted as very satisfactory. This implies that the use of varied instructional strategies will dictate the academic achievement of students. For research question number four, the computed mean for students is 3.83 and 4.16 for the teachers with a p-value of 0 0.00, which connotes that there is no significant differences between instructional strategies being practiced and instructional strategies as perceived by the students. For research question number four, the p-value is 
which connotes that there is significant relationship between the instructional strategies practiced by the teachers and academic performance of the students. The researcher recommended the following. Address the needs of the students to reach their full potential. Broaden the current scope so as to initiate the process of creating an evidence-based teaching. And the third, the future researchers should investigate the strengths and weaknesses of the teacher of a particular teaching area and analyze and interpret the performance of the students. For the dissemination, after the conduct of the research, the researcher will be disseminating the results in the school and more so in the district so as to help the future researchers to conduct a comparative study that will aid in the enhancement of the utilization of varied instructional strategies. The researcher also planned to ask the help and support of the school head and teachers to utilize the existing mechanism to disseminate the result of the research study such as in school learning action cell and the continuous improvement plan. For the reflection, you cannot discover new oceans unless you have the courage to do sight of the shore. Again, this is Mrs. Nerisa Arbetonio presented the instructional strategies and academic performance of PLE students, a basis for intervention in improving instruction of PLE teachers. Thank you and God bless us all.